and 20 pounds, the hardcore champion, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre. Good evening and welcome to Saturday night's main event. You got Andre the Giant one on one defending his hardcore title against the Monty in this extreme rules match to kick us off on Saturday night's main event. Welcome in, everybody. Yes, indeed. We're opening up Marcotte with Andre the Giant going one-on-one, -on -one defending his title against the Monty. That's right. The Monty is here on Saturday night's main event, challenging Andre the Giant to the hardcore title fight of his life. Can the Monty be able to finish off the Giant here tonight and take the hardcore title? We're going to find out during the course of this fight here between these two Legendary wrestling guys, yes, indeed. Well, we'll see. You never know, Mark. I mean, anything can happen in EFW. You know that. We're here for Saturday night's main event. Extreme Fed Wrestling here on this Saturday night. On a night when the Sixers currently are playing the uh, Knicks. So we're going to have that on a monitor here in studio to make sure we know what's going on with that. But, uh, yeah, we're going to stay here with it. Hope that people come out with big droves here tonight for Saturday night's main event. I know at MLW is running a pay-per-view event, and I found out that um, Impact Wrestling TNA is also running something tonight. So we're here, though, for Saturday night's main event. Like I said, only WrestleMania would take us off the air, and it did. We still came on later that night with a little bit of a show. So we're here every Saturday night here in Extreme Fed Wrestling. Again, two nights in a row, Mark. Are you kidding me? Another night with another no-no? Oh, man. So now i got to watch the Sixers and the Phillies. only got one monitor, so guess what? We have to make a decision. I guess we're going to monitor the Phillies for a little bit. We'll monitor the Phillies for a little bit, Mark. That's what we'll have to do. Um, there is a multi-view, but not with the Phillies game. So This White Sox team is complete trash. Wait a minute. Two nights in a row to score is seven to nothing? That was a score last night, seven to nothing. Two nights in a row at seven to zip. As Andre the Giant is taking it to the Monty here, but the Monty saying he was coming in looking to end Andre the Giant. The question then becomes that's it right there. Andre the Giant's about to finish the, Mo the Monty here on Saturday night's main event. There it is, that big splash. There's no way the Monty gets up from this. One, two, who will stop? Oh, a Monty kicked out. Well, Phillies are batting in the bottom of the six, Mark. So, yeah, I see it. Okay, a no now. Two nights in a row with no hitter. I'll tell you. Unbelievable. This White Sox team doesn't have no business being in professional baseball if they're going to play like this. Get no hits two nights in a row. I mean, they're a bad, bad team, man. All right, we're going to turn it on here and... Uh, to put on here the uh, Sixers game here so we can monitor that. Oh, they're down seven. I don't know if Embiid's back, though. I think he's out. Yeah, it looks like Embiid's out. Oh, they're down six now. They're closing the gap. Uh, Columbia! Look at this. Andre the Giant destroying the Monty here. Yes, he is. Welcome in, Lemmy. So we got Mark McCoy and Lemmy in the house on Saturday night's main event. Yes, indeedy. Andre the Giant taking it to the Monty here. The Monty said he was going to finish Andre the Giant off tonight. Yeah, give me your breaking news. Bob the Gambler just uh, took a dying plop. Huh? <laughs> That's what Bob the Gambler just did. Yep, he took a di giant plop. That's your breaking news. Give me your numbers. <laughs> I know. I know. There you go. Yeah, I, well, we all been calling them out about it. We've been breaking the stones about it all day. Seven-point game, six are down by seven. Here it is, Monty getting a chance to recover here. Andre gave the Monty a chance. You can see it's barely moving, though, man. Here it is. He's fine on his feet. 
Here comes Amonti. Let's see what he does. Amonti getting back to his feet. Oh, and he, oh, he hit Andre with a big hit. This could do it. This could do it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's happening. It's happening on Saturday night's main event. It's going to happen. Here it is. He looks like one, two. Amonti is the new hardcore champion. Amonti gets it done. He wins a hardcore title. Amonti beats Andre the Giant here on Saturday night's main event. And he takes a hardcore title home. Amonti is the new hardcore champion. The Malti gets it done. Yes, indeed. Andre the Giant goes down to the Malti. The Malti, indeed. Yes, the Malti gets it done. The Malti is the new hardcore champion. Oh, he's an old school guy. Look at this fight coming up next for you. Axel, Jim Duggan, Abdul the Butcher, Omas, Grips, and RVD in a hell in a cell for the ECW World Championship on Saturday night's main event. Here we go. Five men enter. RVD holds the ECW Championship coming into this one. It is Extreme Fed Wrestling and Hacksaw Jim Duggan is here. Can he leave the new ECW Champion here tonight? Of course, we know Hacksaw Jim Duggan's got his hose. <laughs> Tough guy hose. Yes, indeed. So here we are, guys. So let's see, the Sixers game looks like it beads out right now for a while. I don't know. I don't know if he's out for the whole game or what. Groot, the show just started, dude. We got a long show, man. You got to hang tight with us, Groot. You got to hang tight here. You know what to do? Box the uh, like button for me, bro. Box it. You know what I'm saying? Box that like button. Let me get an update on a bead here. Anything? Well, we're going to find out. CWB TV, welcome in to Extreme Fed Wrestling and Saturday night's main event. Oh, is it beat out, Rod? Is he done? I mean, I know he was injured, but I thought maybe he came back. He's done for the game. Yeah, Rod, I had a cheesesteak pizza. You would be so jealous of it. I missed that one. The pass to himself was awesome. I, I missed it, dude. Off the backboard. Okay, yeah, well, he, he does. I mean, a pizza, you know, he's a special breed. You know, he's a special breed, dude. And Pete is a special breed. Yeah, I'm not getting no update on X about Embiid's uh, situation, so I guess he's out. I don't know. He's back on the floor? Are you kidding me, bro? He's back on the floor? Jesus, dude, he's back on the floor. You know what, Rod? You are a true legend of wrestling. There's a mosque. You imagine standing in the ring with the Nigerian giant? I mean, this guy has been a jobber in EFW so far, but tonight could be his night where he leaves the ECW world title. This could be tonight. This guy, Abdul the Butcher, knows here, so you never know. Abdul the Butcher might leave with it. Omas might leave with it. Any one of these guys can win it. It's a five-man dance here in Hell in a Cell. We'll see who wins. The CW world title here in this one, and plenty more matches to come. Is the ECW real champion? If I was, let's see, out here. If I was you, I would. Nah, nah, you know what? I already said enough to him, dude. Jim, who's Jim? Jim's got his hands full. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, CW beat TV 2.0. Here we go. We still got one more guy coming out here. This match ain't set yet. Five men in this battle in the Hell in a Cell. And it's this man. He and his scripts. He's getting a shot here tonight on Saturday night's main event. That's right, Scripps getting an opportunity here. 
Not really. Yeah, he isn't. Yeah, he's Bob the Gambler, dude. I went on there, remember? And that a rocket, dude, it flew up on me, bro. I had $103 it blew the hell up on me. I still ordered a cheesesteak pizza. It only cost me 27 bucks to get delivered. So I said, eh, I could sit there for two nights if need be. Now, he would never come here. What are you kidding me, Lemmy? He ain't going to come here. He, he, he's only on one platform. He won't even go to TikTok. Look at a dole and a butcher to meet heads between VRVD and Omas here. The fight is underway. Hell in a cell. Five men. Yeah, I do. I let it go too long. What the hell happened? We got a winner? Wait a minute. What the hell? We got a weird screw job. I had nothing to do with that one. Scripps is the new ECW world champion. What the hell just happened? The lights went out all of a sudden. Scripps is the new ECW world champion. What the hell just happened in record time? Scripps is the new ECW world champion. What the hell are we just witness? What the hell is that, man? Here we go. Hillbilly Jim. Jack Skeleton. Last man standing match. Here we go for the ECW world title. We got more coming for you. You guys are going to make the matches tonight. That's right. That's the big surprise. You guys are making the matches tonight. So get your match ideas ready. You can make the matches tonight. You can make any match you want. We're going to let you start making matches. So let's watch this match, and then we'll see what happens here. Nah, there's no women, dude. This is all men. All men, bro. What a group make. Crop Dustin Mania versus Monkey. All right, let me review your match request here. I'm going to go review them. I'm going to review them here like Bob the Gambler does. I'm going to review them. And we're going to make them. Okay, so we're going to have this match first, though, for the EFW World title, Hillbilly Jim and Skeleton. Here's the deal. You cannot defend the EFW World title anymore tonight. Once this match is over, the winner keeps the belt for tonight. They will not be eligible. The world title will not be on the line again tonight. It's either Hillbilly Jim or Skeleton walk out of here to champion... That's it. No more defenses as title. But you can defend the WWE title. You can defend the WWE world title, which is held by none other than Otis. That's right. Otis has the WWE world title. So you can make a match with Otis tonight if you want. You can book it. Yeah, no, 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 no women's matches. You know, you want the monkey in a match, you can make the match. Go ahead and make it, man. You want Darth Vader versus the monkey, you can make that match tonight. Whatever you want, you make the matches. We're going to have, oh, after this segment here, this match between Skeleton and Hillbilly, last man standing, you guys make the match. That ain't going to happen, Rod. Not every match. I said you make a match. You make one match. You can't make every match one guy. We can't do that. It's, 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 it, what are we going to do? No, we're not doing that, group. Sorry. Are you kidding me, bro? The Sixers are up by six. I looked down and the Sixers are up 78 to 72. How did that happen, dude? The Knicks are trash, dude. What's it going to be? R.I.W. What do you mean R.I.W.? R.I.W. for what? R.I.W. No, no, no. Tonight you make the match. It's EFW. It's, 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 no, it's not the wrestling companies. Extreme Fed Wrestling. That's here to stay. 
EFW, that's the world title right there. It's the most prestigious strap in this company, the world title of EFW. And Hillbilly Jim versus Skeleton tonight for the world title here on Saturday night's main event. Oh, really? So he still got it. He still got it after seven innings. All right, there you go. Another night, another same result as last night's early result. We'll see if it happens tonight. I'll turn it on, but right now I still got the Sixers on here. Oh, too many pitches, Mark. Too many pitches. You got to go to the bullpen. You're going to have to in the bullpen a while of giving it up, so forget it. It's not going to happen. You, you'll break his arm. You'll break his damn shoulder, man, if you try to give him the pitch 120 pitches. There's no way he's going to be able to go all the way. No way. It's not worth it. You know, it's too early in the season to risk it. If it was the playoffs, I would say, okay, let him go till nine, nine innings, throw 125 pitches. No, 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 you don't do it. You don't do it. You hey, This guy's got a big contract. You want up wasting all that money because he'll be injured for a long time. Yeah, you know what? It's, it, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. 101 pitches, no way I would go for it. Okay, Groot, you just made a match. Here's the official match. Ron Jones and Monkey versus Colonel Sanders. For tonight only, I'll call him the name you gave him. Ron Jones and Monkey meets Colonel Sanders. Is Hillbilly Jim about to become the face of EFW? He can win the EFW World Championship here on Saturday night's main event. But Jack Skeleton fighting back, trying to defend his title against Hillbilly Jim. Will we have a Hillbilly World Champion, or does Jack Skeleton find a way to keep his title in this last man standing on Saturday night's main event? Yeah, he did lose his credibility. He's promoting fake news. Fake news, you're done. He did the fake news. He had a breaking news story, and he never announced what it was. He keep playing games, saying, I got breaking news, and he never told you what it was. I can tell you my breaking news. I got a text. I got a text. That's my breaking news. I got a text. I got a text. I got a text. I got a text. Six, seven, uh-oh. Uh-oh, Hillbilly Jim, uh, he's up at eight. He got up. Take one guess. Uh oh he hit him with the... She is asking me if I'm doing a show tonight. She said she's going to go take a shower. So, there you go. Here's your breaking news. Breaking news. No, nothing like that, bro. Uh-oh, Hillbilly Jim might be done. Here's a ref six. Oh, no, he's up at six. Here comes a Hillbilly. He said, don't go messing with the country bowl, the country bowl, the country bowl. You know, Groot would know that. Don't go mess with the country boy. Are you kidding me? The Knicks made a one-point game? Dude, seriously, 78-77. It's almost the fourth quarter. All right, Sixers just got a bucket. 80-77, to one minute left in the third. That game ran way too long tonight. I'll tell you, they started it late to begin with. Here we go. So, by the way, I want to thank everybody. The numbers have come in the last couple of weeks of shows. We got big numbers, man. This show is becoming popular here on YouTube, man. People are coming out, so I want to thank the viewers for coming out for Saturday night's main event every Saturday night, 8 p.m. East Coast time. We're here. Jack Skeleton's up. The Hillbilly won't be able to take the title. He's flexing in the ring. Big mistake by Hillbilly. Uh-oh. Skeleton takes him off the ropes. Oh, no. There it is. Skeleton's going to plant him. Oh, no. That's it. Good night. And Skeleton's going to keep the EFW world title and put Hillbilly Jim out the pasture. Oh, boy.
Well, Groot, your boy from the country can't get it done. Hillbilly Jim's about to go down here tonight on Saturday night's main event. Oh, he goes live every day now, bro. He keeps popping up. Here's eight. Here's nine. That's it. Hillbilly Jim is done, and Jack Skeleton keeps his title over Hillbilly Jim on Saturday night's main event. All right, so the match is made. Groot has made Gordon Rogers a chicken man versus... Uh, as you see, Skeleton take his title back here. He's a happy man. Still your EFW world champion, Jack Skeleton. Expect the unexpected, man. People resurface, you know. People resurface. All right, here we go. So we got some matches coming up here. Brood has made a wrestling match. We're going to make it a uh, submission-only match between this man. Brood has asked for this match. He gets the chicken, man. Let's see here. He asked for the chicken, man. Colonel, Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders, there it is. Colonel Sanders, one-on-one. -on -one. Tonight here, he gets him against the monkey. That's orders of Groot. Anybody else want to make a match? Now is the time to put them in. Put your matches in. You see, this match has been made, and I'm making it for the title. It's for the NXT title. He defends against Colonel Sanders here tonight in a submission match, okay? I'm going to make a match now. We're going to have a special referee match tonight. We're going to do... Uh, Let's see, who are we going to do here? We're going to do Cactus Jack. Well, that's not a special guest referee match. Hold on, we're going to make it a special guest referee. There it is, special guest referee. Okay, Sabu versus Kamala. Okay, the matches are pouring in. I'll tell you what we'll do. The Earthquake will be the challenger. I'm going to make this, I'll make your matches. I promise your matches are coming up. The Earthquake, one-on-one -on -one with The Rock. Special guest manager, referee is Sergeant Slaughter. There you go. So it's Earthquake versus The Rock with the special referee, Sergeant Slaughter. All right, you want Sabu versus Kamala. We're going to make that a, uh, a full-on, no-holds-barred match. Sabu versus Kamala. You get that tonight. All right. You wanted that? Kamala versus Sabu. I seen that one. What else? Keep them coming. Keep them coming, as the man says. What else you want to put on here tonight? You got that? Sabu versus Kamala. You guys make the matches. That's what we're going to do. So there's plenty of space here to make more. Tell me what else you want to see. You're getting the matches. Let me see. I'm going to go back. Hold on. Give me a minute. Let me go back and review the, the chat room. All right, so you're going to get to see that match. Uh, Krimis versus Ric Flair. Uh, all right, that's it. That's all I see. Okay, you guys haven't added anything. So Ric Flair, one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to make that a backstage brawl match. How about that? Backstage brawl between Ric Flair. That ain't you, boy. I'm going to walk that aisle. Woo! Remember, we got Ron Jones. I mean, uh, Ron, uh, what's the name? Ron Jeremy. You got Ron Jeremy. Nobody wants to put Ron Jeremy in a match? Give him a match, man. He got a ton of guys he can face. He can face anybody. All right, well, we're going we're gonna to run these matches. We got four, okay? We're going to stop here. We got four matches. Let's not load it up too much. We'll run four matches right now. Here we go. I made Earthquake versus Rock. I figured that's going to be a good one. Steiner versus, okay, no more. That's it. Last one, Mark McCoy. Uh, last one, because we, we, we already got four. So let me run these matches first. And then we'll come back. We'll come back, and then we'll make more. But let's do this one. Colonel Sanders, this is Groot's match right here. Groot made this match. Colonel Sanders versus the Monkey for the title. Yep, for the title. 
is for the NXT Championship. There he is, your boy. He's a champion. It's for the title. Here we go. He's got to defend the title by orders of Groot. Groot's a commissioner tonight. He said he's got to defend the title against Colonel Sanders. Here we go. What could happen in this match? You never know. You guys can't play the bookers. You all guys going make the matches. You're only making matches. You're not the booker. Here we go. Title on the line. Here it goes. Yeah, submission only, dude. Yeah, Mark, we're going all in with this one. It's going to be submission only. All you need is a tap out, and we got a champion that shocks the real, the chicken man. Good old chicken man, Gordon Rogers, a.k.a. Colonel Sanders. No, no, you're, no, you're not the general manager. You haven't signed an official contract. Here we go, choke time. Here we go. Bell rings. Oh, look at that uppercut. Yeah, I see that. The next cut up pulled away, man. Here we go. He's beating your boy up there, Groot. He's getting beat up. Look at that. See, oh, there's the elbow. There's your boy. He's coming through. Ron Jones and Monkey beating a living hell. There's the elbow beat down. This will be a quick squash match. He's going to destroy him. They're going to retain the title, of course. There's the V-trigger. He's done. He's done. He'll be going back to the chicken kitchen. Look at this. Tossing him right through the ropes. Here we go. More beat down. Come. Look at this. Here he comes. He's waiting for him to get up. He's going to beat the living hell out of him, bro. This ain't even a real match, bro. Look at this. He's destroying him. Good night as he has killed him, man. He killed him. Oh, man. Yeah, I got it on. A two-point game. Sixer ball. Nine minutes left. This is it. Sixers got to come on strong here to make Bob the Gamble look like the biggest joker ever. The Sixers winning look like a joker. Oh, they tied it. They tied it. 8.45 to go, and it's tied. Yeah, he, he's going to look like the biggest joker ever, that guy. Give me your numbers, all right? Yeah, his numbers are he's going to lose his money if he bet on them. Oh, look at that. There's the hit. That's going to finish your boy off. Tied, yeah. Not tight anymore, unless you're ahead of me. I got 86, 84 Knicks. That Nick coach, man, he's a strange looking dude. That guy coaches the Knicks, he's a strange looking dude, bro. He reminds me of that guy who used to type on a typewriter and throw the paper in the air. Remember that guy? I'll remember that guy's name. He used to type on a typewriter and throw the paper in the air at the end of the show. You watch a TV show, that guy would come on at the very end and throw, he'd be typing away on a typewriter and throw the paper up and it would go flying in the air. Then the show, remember that guy? Anybody remember him or not? I know you guys remember that guy. Uh, is anybody home? Uh, anyway, there's the monkeys getting handed to him. We're going to have a new champion here tonight. He might have a new champion here, guys. Getting serious here. Look at this. He might have a new champion. You, who? I mean, the guy who threw the, the typewriter guy that used to throw paper in the air? I don't know what his name is. He used to do it, though, bro. He's some guy. He used to come on at the end of TV shows, and he'd be on a typewriter typing, and he'd take the paper out of the typewriter and throw it up in the air until the end of the show back in the 80s, bro. Yeah, that guy was in the 80s. I don't know what the hell his name was. But that guy coaches the Knicks. Kind of looks like his brother, dude. Yeah, here we go. Uh oh Oh, he missed. He went for it all, and he missed. Here we go. Oh, that chicken man's down. Uh-oh, submission hold. He's rolling around with him, setting him up for the submission. Oh, that's it. That's going to be it. Uh-oh. 
Ah, oh, the rig is in for Groot. The rig is in for Groot. Ah, oh, the rig is in. There it is. Gonna tap out. Chicken Man's gonna tap out. Oh, no, he ain't. The match continues. Chicken Man's in it. Hey, he gets scoop slammed. Oh, he's gonna break free. Yes, he's breaking free. Is he gonna win? Oh, Chicken Man has took out the gorilla. Chicken Man taking out the gorilla. Here we go. Chicken Man in control. He's, he's going after Ron Jones. He's booting him with a knee. What's going to happen here on Saturday night's main event? Look at this. Chicken Man unloading a beatdown. He's destroying Ron Jones the monkey. Look at this. Oh, Jones has got it up, though. Oh, Jones has clocked him. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Oh, Chicken Man's up. Chicken Man's up. Oh, no. Ron Jones choking him. Uh-oh. Oh, it's over. He choked them out. That's it. Your winner, the monkey, Rod Jones, still NXT champion on Saturday night's main event. Told you it was night of surprises. Ron Jones keeps the NXT title. Oh, wait a minute. The music hits. It's the Monster Abyss. He's challenging the monkey, Ron Jones, in the NXT title match. Abyss will challenge Ron Jones. Next week on Saturday night's main event, in the main event, it will be Abyss against Ron Jones for the NXT Championship. There you go. So the monkey retains. Now it's time for the earthquake in the rock. One-on-one -on -one with Sergeant Slutter as the referee. This should be epic. You puke maggot scum, I'll be the referee here. Here we go. Is he going to call right down the middle? You bet your ass he is. There's no belts involved in this match. For the first time here, we're going to do it with a referee. It's controlled fully by the computer. Here comes a Sarge ready to referee this one. The Sergeant Slaughter referee. referee Sergeant Slaughter. Here comes the earthquake. Hey, we had a 2.4 earthquake. That was nothing. That's just like a little tremor. Not in Philly, though. It was like outside of Philly to happen. Hey, Groot, you want to see a delicious cheesesteak pizza? I'm going to send you a picture of it dude, on Twitter. See a picture of delicious cheesesteak pizza I had tonight. Look at that delicious pizza, man. Loaded with steak. Wait till you see that picture, man. Here he is, Earthquake. Earthquake versus Rock, but Sergeant Slitter will referee this match. When I, yeah. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, Bob was like in shock. He couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe it. He's like, oh, man, this is ridiculous, man. Yep. Mark, is it still happening or is it over? Is it still going in the eighth inning? Wait, Mark, I turn it on here. I can figure out how to turn it on here and see what's happening. I'll turn it on and see. And his from oh, really? In at oh, he's left it. He's out of the game. He's out of the game. Second day in a row, they teased it, Mark. No, it's over, right? No, no, no. Yeah, he's out of the game, right? Nine to nothing, Phillies. Nine to nothing, man. Give me a break. Oh, Harper dove for it, and he couldn't get it. Yeah, it did no hitters over. All right. Thanks for the update. So, yeah, next Saturday night, it's going to be Ron Jones and Monkey versus the Monster Abyss in the main event on Saturday night's main event. you got to wait a week for that. We'll, of course, be on Monday Mayhem. We always do Monday Mayhem. Yep, that's a show you'll see every week, Monday Mayhem. So our main shows are Saturday night's main event, Monday Mayhem. And uh, it could be Wild Wednesday. With the draft coming up, it will be Wild Wednesday. Thursday is all about the draft. We'll be doing coverage on the uh, TikTok and all with that. So here we go. Rock versus Earthquake now. And then you'll see other two matches you guys asked for tonight. Yep. Here we go. Rock versus the Earthquake with Sergeant Slutter has to be the official on this match. Here we go. Thunderway. First time ever. Rock versus the Earthquake. Look at the Earthquake. Just pick up the rock and dump him. The Sarge is chilling in the corner. He's letting him go. Earthquake turns around. Pummels a rock. Uh, no. Because I'm on here till 10. Yeah, it's here, bro. I'll be on YouTube all night, man. That's it. Like, till 10. I mean, 
Maybe later. I don't even know yet. Maybe later than 10 tonight. We'll see. But, like, at least 10. And then I'm supposed to be on the phone. I don't know. I, I could show up there. I can't promise you that I won't. I mean, you know, I could. But it's not predicted. I mean, you know, it's not scheduled. It'd be like a surprise appearance if I show up there. We're doing Saturday night's main event, man. It's a flagship program for me every Saturday night, 8 o'clock. We're here. Night we're going till 10 o'clock minimal. So, you know, it's already 8.34. So, one, two. Nope, Sergeant Slutter didn't cow face. Now, oh, Earthquake's getting mad with him. No, no chance, no chance at all that ever happened. Look at Earthquake just beating the hell of a rock. Here's Sergeant Slutter, one, two. Hey, he's going slow on the count. Earthquake's pissed at him. He's ready to punch him out. There we go. Rock head first with the Earthquake. Now Earthquake's got the rock. Look at this. He's going to play him again. Look at this. The rock is getting pummeled by the Earthquake. Here comes the rock now. Earthquake throws him right down. This is a pretty good matchup here. With Sergeant Slutter as the referee here tonight for this match. Here it is. Earthquake going after rock again. Yeah, but you got you got zero chances, bud, of me uh, bringing her on heckle. Not at all, man. Never. Never, never, never. Not with that crew, bro. <laughs> anyway, Earthquake going after Rock. Here we go. Oh, Rock got the boot up. Here we go, DDT by the Rock. No way, bro. Not with that crew. <laughs> no way. No way, no how, bro. No way, no how. I'm Bob the Gambler. What are you talking about, man? I'm Bob the Gambler. I'm famous. <laughs> so famous he can't even get more than three people to show up for his announcement, you know? That's how famous he is. That's okay, bro. We don't need all that. Oh, Earthquake's got the rock. Look at this now. Earthquake. Oh, our rock's got him. That his rock going for the sharpshooter. Will Sergeant Slutter call for the bell? Let's see. He says no. Earthquake breaks out. Match continues. Rock takes down Earthquake. Now Earthquake picks a rock in here. Yeah, it's just too much to go on camera. Originally, I was going to be on camera every week when we got back here for EFW, but I said, ah, we don't need to be on camera. I'll be on the microphone announcing it, and that's enough, you know. Earthquake now with a big splash on the rock, scoops him up. He's going to drill, and this could do it. This could do it. The Earthquake cover, one, two, and oh, the rock kicked out barely. Uh, Knicks by one. Oh, uh, Mark, that's not good news, dude. We got under five minutes to go. Oh, I got a 94 to 90, Mark. It's a four-point Knicks lead with under five to go, but Embiid is out there. And, oh, man, he almost got hurt again. That leg went in the air. I was like, oh, no, don't get hurt again, dude. Looks like Earthquake's going to beat the rock. He's punishing him. Oh, Sixers just hit a three. All right. They got a one-point game. Okay, gotcha, group. I get it. I get it, man. Well, and Bede's got to be ready to go in every game for the Sixers to win this series. If Bede don't go every game, it's over. I mean, of course they got to win this game one. They got to pull this game out. We got 447 left, so... Oh, and a rock. Oh, he almost stole it, but Slutter wouldn't come down. And look at a rock. He's pissed at Slutter. Now a rock booting away at the earthquake. Rock flex and Sergeant Slutter giving him space here. There it is. Earthquake had this match, but it ain't going his way. I don't know what you're talking about. You thought like you thought totally wrong. I don't know what you're thinking. I was getting. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Kit Kat candy, bro. If you're going to pick Holdstone, you get Kit Kats in there. You get raspberries, you get uh, chocolate chips and Kit Kats in your uh, Coldstone, bro. That's what you want in there. Kit Kats, raspberries, and, and uh, chocolate chips. 
96-92. It's not looking good for the Sixers, guys. Looks like Bob the Oop Bowl is going to be right, dude. Uh, there's no plans, Groot. There's, uh, Groot. there's no plans. Forget that stuff, bro. That was all just talk, dude. There's no plans. I got no plans to go to the beach, dude. I got no plans to go to the beach, dude. I, I got absolutely none, so, you know. I'll be in Florida, dude. I'll be in Florida by Memorial Day weekend right now. It's the early call. I mean, we'll see what happens here. Tomorrow's the 21st of April. You're going to need at least a week to get a buyer. Maybe two weeks, maybe three weeks. And then 14 days, so two more weeks to get paid. So, I mean, you know, I plan on being in Florida for Memorial Day weekend. DDT by the Rockets could do it. He didn't go for the pin, though. You know, Sergeant Slaughter's going to count it anyway, so he can see the punish the earthquake. Will a rock be able to finish off the earthquake? Earthquake's been able to hang with the rock so far in this fight. I mean, earthquake showing he's one of the elite on the roster here. Here we go. Earthquake pummeled again, but it's all rock now, and it's going to do it. Earthquake's in trouble. The rock's going for the sharpshooter. He's going to tell Slutter to call for the bell. Here we go. He puts it in. What a Sarge call for the bell. Here it is. Sarge looking in. He's doing it by the books. Nope, he's not calling for the bell. He's giving Earthquake a shot, but there's a rock with another DDT. Oh, no, Earthquake got him down. Cover. One, two, and he, oh, he almost had him. Um, dude, she'll laugh at me. I'm under contract, dude. I'm under contract. I gave her a contract to sell it for me, bro. I'm under contract. I can't do nothing about it now. I can't do a darn thing about it, bro. I'm under contract. I signed a contract with them to sell it. Hopefully next week, bro. That's all I can say is hopefully next week. And then, like I said, right now, May 15th is my bullseye. No, we can't, dude. One, two. Oh, and he, he, is, he would not count fast enough to screw the rock. Sergeant Slutter's not screwing the rock. Earthquake picks the rock up, and he punishes him. This could do it. Let's see. Nope. Let's see what I do. Uh oh, Earthquake's coming toward the rock. There's a Stinger Splash coming up. Here he goes. Oh, and he smoked him with that splash. Scoops him up. The Earthquake's going to win this thing. Power Slam. Earthquake's going to beat the rock on Saturday night's main event. The cover. Come on, Slutter. One, two. And there it is. It's down. Earthquake beats the rock. Earthquake beats the rock on Saturday night's main event. There you go. That's a big shocker. With Sergeant Slutter counting the countdown. All right, so Sergeant Slutter counts to three, and the Earthquake gets the win over the Rock on Saturday night's main event. There you go. Your winner, the Earthquake. He scores a big win here tonight. Coming up next, Kamala versus Sabu by request. This match is coming up right now. Let's get to the ring for Kamala. Sabu, no holds barred. I know, I know, Groot. He, he's just, he's such a knucklehead, dude. He, he thinks he knows everything, you know? You know, he, he, dude, he thinks he's the star, bro. He thinks he's a star, and, you know, he's, he's a joker. He's, he's the butt of the jokes, dude. He ain't no star. People laugh at him like crazy, dude. You know, the guy's the butt of jokes. That's what he is. And you think he'd wake up and realize and see what you're saying, you know, stuff that we mess around with him with. It's all for entertainment purposes only that we go in there, you know. I wouldn't go in there if he's boring. Go in there for entertainment purposes. And his opponent from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Look at all the celebrities in New York for this Knicks game, dude. They had about 20 of them, but they're all B-rated, bro. They're not big stars. Ted Danson ain't in New York tonight, dude. I'll tell you that much. Ted Danson, he, he's out somewhere in California probably having a party with Danny Del Vito, bro. Yeah, we got to get Danny Del Vito in a match against Ron Jeremy tonight, dude. Ron Jeremy and Del Vito tonight, man. Let's do that match. Ron Jeremy and Danny Del Vito. How about that match? Want to see that one tonight? That'd be a legendary match. What do you guys say in the chat? Get a shout-out for what? 
Hair L. I don't even think that's him. I don't honestly think that's him, guys. I don't think that's him. Here we go. Come on with beating up Sabu. I think I do know who that is, though. Guys, keep smashing that like button. The more likes, the better. Let's try to get double-digit likes tonight. Yeah, let's try to get let's try to get double-digit likes tonight, guys. Keep smoking that like button. Let's see if we can get ten likes tonight. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go and subscribe to the channel. We need more subscribers here. Yeah, we're only at three fifty-one, man. I want to try to get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube here. Let's get it done. Yeah, it's over. It's over, dude. It's over, dude. Game's over. They got no shot coming back. Six down. Even if they bought a three here, dude, it's still only two minutes, 30 seconds. The clock's just going to run, dude. Yeah, they got no chance. No chance at all, bro. But uh, Embiid missed the shot. Now there he goes. Down he goes on his ass again. He's down again, dude. Embiid is down. There we go. I don't know how they got him up. Boy, they better watch. They better watch how they get them up. He's fragile material. Yeah, Knicks got this game, dude. Knicks are going to win game one. It's a lock. It's a Stone Cold Mortal Lock, the next win. All right, Bobby was right. BTG gets to win the night. He called it. I should have bet with him. I should have bet when the Sixers were up by 10, you know what I'm saying? Because you get way better odds when the Sixers are up by 10. Oh, well. Hey, Eric, good to see you, buddy. It, make sure you subscribe to the channel, everybody, and also smash that like button while you're here, please. The likes mean something. The more likes this video gets, the more people will see it. Last week, we broke over 100 views on this show. Now, this is Kamala. Kamala, the Among the Giant against SFU. You missed him. He was already on. Oh, super kick to the head of Sabu. He's destroying him here, man. Kamala's off the ropes, and there it is. That big giant splash. That should do it. The cover one. Piece of count to 10 2. That's it, the big giant splash to come out and destroy Sabu on Saturday night's main event. All right, so we're going to add Delvito versus Ron Jones. That's coming up. Yeah, Sixers are down three now with two minutes left, so basically that's it. They're not going to win, dude. I mean, unless they pull a miracle. I mean, they could. They could. I mean, there's two minutes left. They got to play defense. They're up by three. I mean, down by three. All right, we're inside of two minutes left in the game, guys. I don't know, man. Yeah, I see that, Rod. I see that. Forget it. New York just got one right back. It's now a six-point game with 150. It's done. Next one. No doubt about it, the next one. I didn't bet on it. Here it is. Ric Flair versus Grimace. You wanted to see it? You're going to see it tonight in a backstage brawl. If Mark is still here, this match the one you requested. Yep. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe and like it, please. Yep, we need those likes. Let's get to 10. Here we go. Grimace versus Ric Flair. Look at the size of Grimace, dude. He's a monster. Yeah, Knicks won the game, Marcus. No way to, no way the Sixers come back now. Too late. The song says it is too late. No way that the Sixers come back now, dude. It's just, it's just way too late. You're down five points right now, and that's going to maybe four, but still, it's too late, dude. Here we go. He's beating Ric Flair. Look at how big he is, dude. It's like Groot in that mask, dude. He, under the, we take that costume off, it'll be Groot under there, bro. That's probably what the secret is. Yeah, Sugar Rod, he's living inside that mask these days, bro. He's destroying Flair, dude. Look at this. He's bragging. Uh-oh. -uh. Oh, he's bragging he called the game? Yeah, well, that's what he does, dude. He, he brags. He's a bragger, dude. You know, he better go to White Castle tonight. I'm going to go to White Castle tomorrow and stick it in his face. I'm going to find my way to White Castle tomorrow and stick it in his face. Like, ah, oh, I went to White Castle. And I didn't just buy three in onion rings. I bought 10 or 20 or whatever I do buy. I might buy 20 tomorrow. I don't know. It's a lot of beef, but I might buy 20. You never know. I might buy 20. I might say, oh, well, I'll eat them all week.
Look at this. He beat the hell out of Ric Flair. There he goes. Read the program. What is Miguel saying Tron? What is that about? He put a title up and says Tron. What's going on with that guy? And then your girl's on. Groot, your girlfriend's on. She's live with a, a Taylor Swift stream. Did she ever go to the hospital? No, he ain't gonna run. There's Flair. Oh, Flair's picked him up. Look at that. Flair just spiked him, dude. Flair just spiked him. Flair don't care. He's a nut, dude. He's a drunk nut, dude. He's like, woo, you know. He wants T-Bomb to come in so he can say, woo. Oh, roundhouse kick on Flair. That could do it. He's calling for a finisher. This might be it for Flair. He ain't gonna survive the sponsor. Oh, torture rack. Torture rack into the go to sleep. No, no bell. Flair's still in it. Not for long. Now. He's getting beat up by a kendo stick. Hey, he's gonna be out last. That said, he busted him open. No, nope, no. Match still goes. Wow, Flair's taking a beating from him. Hey, he's gonna pick Flair. Oh, suplex City like Brock Lesnar does. Now he's gonna, he's gonna wreck his head. It's gonna do it. Ring the, oh, man, he ain't ringing a bell yet. He's just destroyed him, dude. What's it going to take to beat Ric Flair, dude? Look at this. The beatdown is being given here, dude. And Flair is still in the match. The kicks to the head. And, man, oh, man. Look at this. The kicks. He's he belting them with the kicks. Need the program. I don't think Mark's still here. Mark from Chicago. Not Mark McQueen. Yeah, Mark. He asked for this match and he left. <laughs> Look at this, he's gonna pick Ric Flair apart. He hasn't said nothing in the chat in a while, so I think he left. I gave him the match he wanted, but he took off. <laughs> like you're asking for to see a match, he had taken off. What's going on with that, man? Oh well. Four point game? Yeah, I, I still don't see it, man. I don't see it. Seconds left, dude. It's a seven point game. Forget it. Let me. Seconds left, seven point game. Well, it's now a five point game. Five point game, 107, 102. 45 seconds to go. Yeah, they're losing the first game. Yeah, five point game. And we're down to 30 seconds. They fouled them. That's it. It'll be a game's over. Game over. Knickerbockers beat the Sixers. Yeah, it's over. Rod, it's over, dude. I'm telling you. I, I wanted to bet the Knicks, dude. A gut feeling told me to bet the Knicks, and I didn't want to, you know, root against my team. So, like a dummy, I didn't bet them, though. I should have did it, though. My gut was telling me this game's the next game to win. That's it. He wiped the player out. That's it. Flair's done. Rick Flair's done. There it is. He wiped them out. And a roundhouse kick. Flair just said, okay, I got an answer for you. He's going to bring Sting with him and take him in a handicap match. He's going to fight Grimace in a handicap match with Sting. We continue on here on Saturday night's main event. We are already, wow, almost an hour into this thing. Here we go. We're going to see majors in action right now. Though. We're going to see a one-on-one -on -one no holds bar between majors. Majors ain't bringing his goons out tonight. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one against Bronson Reed. Majors and Bronson Reed for the U.S. title on Saturday night's main event. Don't forget, we're back Monday with Mayhem. We'll be on Monday Mayhem. The Major goes one-on-one -on -one against Bronson Reed. He ain't bringing nobody to ring with him tonight. He said, I'm going to do this myself. I ain't facing him. He's facing Bronson Reed for the U.S. title. As for a... Stop it, Diet Coke. So this match is happening here on Saturday night's main event, and so as I promised you, Ron Jeremy... Ron Jeremy will be fighting here in a backstage brawl against Danny Delvito. Yep, Danny Delvito, your boy. They're going to fight in a backstage brawl. Ron Jeremy versus Danny Delvito, as promised. We get Ron Jeremy. Danny Delvito. Was that who? Was that? What do you mean, Eric? Was what? Was that what? Oh, the trash man. That's right. Delvito's known as the trash man. 
Oh, is he your trash man, Danny Delvito? There he is. All right, so we got these matches coming up for you on Saturday night's main event. Ron Jeremy and a trash man in the U.S. title on the line. Let's get you these two matches right now. Bring us in the 9 o'clock hour. Uh, Eric, you got good eyes, dude. You got good eyes. That is correct. That is Michael Jackson under contract with EFW. So is Mike Tyson under contract with EFW. We only bring the big timers, you know what I'm saying? Five-point game, but the Knicks out 2.7, it's over. No way. You can't get five points in 2.7, the game's over. Next beat the Sixers. Damn it, I missed the money opportunity. Oh, well, it's whatever. I'm still way ahead on the uh, on this thing there. String out. What is this junk? He's not supposed to reveal who he is. He's major, damn it. Why do you reveal it? Somebody in the back pressing the thing, telling him who it is. It's major, is this guy. Look at him, he's majors. Majors, the yellow wearing suit guy, Majors. Game's over. 111 and 104. That's it. Put it in the books. Oh, he sunk a three. Does that count? Won't count. They won't give him the three points for it, but it doesn't matter anyway. He hit the long three, though, bro. He drilled a long ball three, but he gets no credit for it. Here we go. Majors is in action. The yellow wearing man here will go to war against Bronson Reed for the U.S. title. We're just coming up on 9 o'clock here on the East Coast. We'll be here till 10 tonight. U.S. title, Bronson Reed coming to defend his U.S. title. I say keep smashing that like button for me as always. Smash that like button. Typical. He's bragging about the bets now, saying they covered the spread. He had money on that one, too. Oh, well. Here we go. U.S. title on the line. How about the Mets in baseball? They beat the Dodgers two games in a row, man. It's crazy. The Mets are red hot. The Mets are red hot. They're beating the Dodgers here. So here we go. Majors will challenge Bronson Reed for the U.S. title right here on Saturday night's main event. It is going down here tonight. Yes, it is. The U.S. title being defended by Bronson Reed to Majors. That's right. Majors is the challenge here. Who leaves with the U.S. title? Let's find out here. Is the big man Majors ready to go to war? Can he take the U.S. title from Bronson Reed? I don't control either, Eric. I'm the announcer. I'm the matchmaker. That's what I do. I announce and make the matches. That's it. So, that's what my job to do is I announce to you guys. Yep. So, you can see Majors taking the fight here at Bronson Reed. Will Majors be able to take the title away from him here? Bronson Reed's a tough customer, but Majors here is a up-and-coming star. Whether you can see his outfit here, you know, it makes him... Okay, he's wiped out Bronson Reed. It's giving a guy a push being Majors, you know what I'm saying? He's got the hockey stick. Oh, Bronson's up. Oh, and he booted him right in the head. We're going to crown a new U.S. champion here on Saturday night's main event of this continues. 
Dangerous is like the new Kane, dude. That's what he is. The modern-day version of Kane, bro. He's a machine, and what a hit as he puts Bronson Reed down. Major's about to take the U.S. title here on Saturday night's main event. Here we go. Majors throws Bronson Reed back into the ring. Majors told his buddies he's doing it by himself tonight. Here we go. Bronson Reed now going to take Majors. I want to toss him in. Now all of a sudden Bronson Reed coming to life here. He worked up a sleeping giant. But Majors punched him right in the face and stopped it all. And Majors now wipes him out. We could have a new champion soon here. Will we see a new U.S. champion crowned here in Majors on Saturday night's main event? He's beating a living hell out of Bronson Reed. Majors said he's coming out here to bring a title home to his boys in the back there. He told him, stay in the back. I don't need your ringside to help me. I got this tonight on my own. So here we go. Majors head first. Bronson Reed into the corner. Here, oh, Bronson got the elbow up, though. Bronson still in it. Oh, and a DDT by Bronson Reed. Majors now whips him off the ropes. Can he do it? Can he have this thing? Oh, he didn't hit. The referee went up getting hit. Now Majors grabs Bronson, takes him to the ropes. What's he going to do now? Let's see. Gets him with a shot. Another shot. He found him. And the U.S. champion is in deep trouble here against Majors. Majors now going underneath the ring. Here you go. Majors got a shovel. That microphone fell there. Here we go. Majors. Cover. We got a new champion. One. Two. No. Kick out by Bronson Reed. He says it's not over yet. Majors now showing off that he's larger than in charge so far in this fight. Majors now. Uh-oh. Bronson Reed catching Majors and has tossing him aside like yesterday's bag of trash. And now Bronson Reed coming after Majors with a big shot to the back. Here comes a colossal Bronson Reed now. Majors is down. He goes for the cover. We get one, two, and they kick out by Majors. So all of a sudden, Bronson Reed going to make Majors pay here. Bronson leaving the ring. Majors trying to get back to his feet fully. Bronson Reed underneath the ring. Majors now back on his feet. Bronson has a steel chair. Majors cut him off. He cut him off the pass. Majors now can win the U.S. title if he gets the big move in. He takes him in the corner. No, to the ropes. Let's see what he does. Big shots again by Majors. Oh, Majors went flying through the air to the floor. Majors up on his feet. He's like the machine that he is. Back on his feet again. Majors begins the process of going for a walk. Oh, Bronson Reed's going to go out. No, Majors going underneath the ring going for a weapon. He's got a table. He's got a table, and he puts it in the ring. This ain't a tables matchup. Here we go. Majors in trouble as Bronson Reed catching him and drilling him. This could do it. Bronson Reed to retain the title. One, two, and Bronson Reed. No, Majors kicked out. Majors kicked out. Here we go. Majors back on his feet. Grabs Bronson Reed. Fires him off the ropes. Let's see what he hits here. Oh, he missed. He went for it all. Oh, he didn't connect. But now Majors clocks him with a running move. Can Majors take it here on Saturday night's main event? Majors setting it up. Here it is. Majors double axe to the back. Majors in control. He's got one big move to hit. Can he hit it? Here it is. He's got him. Here it is. End the days. End the days. We got a new champion. Majors going to become the U.S. champion, too. And it's official. Majors win. The Major. The Major gets it done. The Major wins the United States title. Here is your winner and the new WWE United States Majors gets the job done here on Saturday night's main event. Majors wins the United States Championship. And now it's time for Del, Del Vito, Ron Jeremy, one-on-one -on, -one on Saturday night's main event. Two of the biggest screwballs in the creation of screwballs. Danny Delvito and Ron Jeremy in a brawl. Here we go. Delvito taking the fight to Ron Jeremy. We're underway at a big brawl match here on Saturday night's main event.
No, no, Don Vito, bro. You can't get him. He's not available. We used to have a guy called Sugar Roddy in, in honor of group, but no more. We can't get that guy again, I don't think. Oh, what a kick by Ron Jeremy as he knocks down Danny Delvito, and here we go. Guy Cook's probably loving this. Probably like he's laughing his ass off because Ron Jeremy's destroying Danny Delvito right now. Ron Jeremy's like, I'm going to show you who the real king of wrestling is. Look at Ron Jeremy trying to break his hand here. Now knee to the back of Delvito. It's going down. Jeremy versus Delvito here tonight on Saturday night's main event. Ron Jeremy hitting him with shots and a big uppercut on Delvito. Chat room's still open. It's quiet right now, but it's still open for business. We're still going here. We're past the 9 o'clock hour, but we're here. We're only five minutes into the 9 o'clock hour. Why would you put $12 on the Lakers, bro? Why would you only put $12 on it, dude? What, what's the point? $12 on the Lakers. You crack me up, bro. I put $8 on a rocket, dude, and watched it just diminish, bro. I was up to $103. When I went in there first, I got to 103 dollars. I blew the whole thing on the damn rocket. What are you talking about? It ticks you off that she won't get in her mobile and bring me what? Oh, there it is. Ron Jeremy's got to look for the stop sign. Here we go. Yeah, okay, dude. That's not reality, dude. What's wrong with you, Eric Rutten? Here we go. Danny Delvito now unloading on Ron Jeremy. It could be it for Jeremy's night. Delvito's got that uh, steel stop sign, and he smokes Jeremy with it. And Danny Delvito looking to finish off Ron Jeremy here on Saturday night's main event. There it is. Delvito takes Jeremy into the car. This is going to be it. Ron Jeremy's done. Delvito just punishing him right now. Danny Del Vito, the most ruthless, tough SOB in EFW as he's taking it to Ron Jeremy. Punishing him in the back, and it's almost over as Del Vito's got this one in the bag. Oh, there it is, Del Vito. No, Jeremy catching Del Vito and slams him down. Ron Jeremy ain't done yet. He's fighting back against Del Vito. A boot, look at this. Jeremy double under. Hook takes out, and he's got Del Vito with a big submission hold. Jeremy wins. He beat him. He beat Del Vito. Ron Jeremy gets it done and beats Delvito. My God, business picked up. What a stunner. What a stunner. Ron Jeremy gets the win here. All right, so you guys wanted to see other matches here. We said we'd let you make other matches here tonight. I'll tell you what match. You guys got to make a match here soon. I mean, we're running out of time here on this broadcast. We're inside that 45-minute countdown to end the show, but we want to bring you a match up here that'll be good so we're going to bring you this one let's bring you this fight right now you're going to get to see an ambulance match between Tony D'Angelo will be in an ambulance match for the TV championship yep Tony D We'll get a crack at the television championship here tonight. So we'll bring out the champion. 
The television champion Bobby Heenan will defend against Tony D'Angelo. There you go. That match is happening here tonight. We've got a bunch of new champions already tonight. All right, you want to see Michael Jackson? You're going to see him in a straight-up wrestling match. He will go one-on-one -on -one tonight against this man. Fletcher Ryan, one-on-one -on -one against Michael Jackson tonight. How about that? Fletcher Ryan, one-on-one -on -one against Michael Jackson. Here we go. So he's in action here on Saturday night's main event. You make the match. How about that? There you go. Let's get to the ring for these two matches. No, we're not going to have that match, Groot. Sorry, that kind of match ought to happen on here, buddy. Sorry. You're going to have to work that out with Liz, bro. Sorry. Not not, not in our jurisdiction here, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> we can't control that stuff, dude. Bubbles the Monkey? I have no idea who Bubbles the Monkey is, buddy. Here we go. Tony D coming out to fight Bobby Heenan for the TV championship. Can we have another upset here tonight on Saturday night's main event? Yes, it is. Saturday night's main event. Tony D'Angelo walking that aisle here tonight. He is here. He's under Rod. Rod is his name, Eric. So here we go. Tony D's ready. Here comes the weasel. Bobby Heenan defending his title here on Saturday night's main event. So we need to Damn phone keeps going off, bro. It's like the sixth time it lit up tonight, bro. What is it with these phones? We're going to shut it off. Anyway, these phones are goofy, bro. <laughs> so the Sixers lost tonight. That's okay, though. Like I said, it's only game one. They still got a shot. They have to put it together, though, but they got to, you know, they got to figure it out. Wait a minute. We're not live? Oh, we, are we? Yeah, we're still live. I don't know why this thing did that to me. What happened? Somebody liked it and they took it. Okay, it's eight. Okay, we got eight. Okay, good. Yeah, we're live. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right, so we got Weasel defends against Tony D. How will this work out? Yeah, let's find out together here on Saturday night's main event, Extreme Fed Wrestling. Here we go. Hour two tonight of Extreme Fed Wrestling presents Saturday night's main event. We'll be back, of course, on Monday afternoon for Monday Mayhem. Yes, we will. Monday Mayhem comes on Monday afternoon, normally about three or four in the afternoon. We do about an hour of Monday Mayhem. The Weasel, Bobby Heenan, defends against Tony D here in this matchup on Saturday night's main event. What the hell is this? Oh, it's the ambulance backing up. That's right. It's an ambulance match. It's an ambulance match. So, yep, he has to get him in the ambulance. Could it happen tonight that Tony D gets Bobby the Weasel in the ambulance? We could see that happen here tonight. Anything could happen. Let's find out. Ring the bell. Here we go. Tony D and Bobby Heenan in an ambulance match on Saturday night's main event. Bobby Heenan already leaving the ring. Going to go open that ambulance door. He wants to put Tony D in it already. Here we go. Heenan whips the doors open. We're underway. Oh, and Tony D just blasted Bobby Heenan. And the fight is on. Look at this. Tony D coming out to try to take the title from the weasel on Saturday night's main event. Get Tony D is pounding him. He gets him with a shot. And again, Tony D now with a perfect flex, putting the weasel down. Try 
drives the elbow into Heenan. Tony D now doing a little wrapping on Heenan. Here we go. Big shot by Tony D. Tony D'Angelo taking Heenan. Oh, and a big throw there as he blasts him down to the floor. It looks like Heenan just don't have a game plan against Tony D. He just, oh, finally Heenan swipes his legs out and walks across his chest. By catching him is Tony D'Angelo taking down Bobby Heenan. This is Saturday night's main event on Extreme Fed Wrestling here on this Saturday night. We're here every Saturday night, 8 p.m. East Coast time is our start time. Every single Saturday night. Yes, it is. And at two weeks' time, the WWE will be on at 1 p.m. Eastern, so we'll be here for Saturday night's main event at 8. So you don't have to worry. We'll be live in two weeks for Saturday night's main event. Next week, we already got one big match signed. Abyss gets his shot at the monkey, Ron Jones. And his title. The title will be on the line. The monster Abyss faces the monkey, Ron Jones, for the title. Here we go. Oh, Tony D reversed it. Tony D ended right here. He's got the weasel picked up. He's got the weasel as he toss him in. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Is it happening again? Is it happening again? Is it happening again? Wait a minute. Tony D. Tony D, wait a minute. Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? Tony D. Tony D is the new TV champion. He slams the other. There it is. And the weasel's done. The weasel is done. Tony D is the new TV champion. The weasel's run is over in EFW. There it is. The championship changes hands. Tony D is the new EFW TV champion. The reign of the weasel has come to an end on Saturday night's main event. A night of shockers with reigns coming to an end left and right. It's a new era. And here's Michael Jackson's debut match on Saturday night's main event against Fletcher Ryan. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Copenhagen, Denmark. Weighing in at 266 pounds, Fletcher Ryan! And his opponent from Indiana, weighing in at 103 pounds, the King Michael Jackson!
Here we go. I'm going to ask Michael Jackson to get it handed to him here by this crazy wolf man, Fletcher Ryan. Michael Jackson's just kidding the beat down here. Only in extreme fed wrestling will you see these guys. Michael Jackson is being destroyed by Fletcher Ryan. This guy, Fletcher Ryan, from like the uh, wildest parts of the globe, and he's destroying Michael Jackson. He is just wrecking him here on Saturday night's main event. Now, this guy's destroying us, boots to the head. That's it, Eric, at that beat down. What's up there, Samuel? Samuel Gallivan. How'd you find us, Samuel? Kind of curious. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Michael Jackson now taking Fletcher Ryan down. Here we go. Michael Jackson lines him up. Drop kick to the head. And Michael Jackson get the win here on Saturday night's main event. He's unloading a beat down on Fletcher Ryan all of a sudden. He's in control. Michael Jackson is destroying Fletcher Ryan. One. That's it, only a one. Person, Ternico's waving. I don't know what that is, Eric. Michael Jackson, it took down Fletcher Ryan. Yeah, you can't send gifts here, Eric. No gifts being sent on YouTube. Let's see if the TikTok is the case. I don't know what that, we got person waving at. You can't send gifts here. It's only TikTok. You say, oh, my God, Michael Jackson with the elevation in the air. And Fletcher Ryan all of a sudden getting beaten up big time here. Yes, Michael Jackson might steal this thing. He whips him, though, reversed by Fletcher Ryan. It ducks down. Michael Jackson, what the hell is he doing? Oh, look at this. He takes him down with a big scissor. Michael Jackson kicking Fletcher Ryan's tail here all of a sudden. Michael Jackson now going to sit him up. Look at this. Rolls him over. And a beautiful kick in the head. Wow, Michael Jackson out of nowhere here. It's like Eric's like controlling him. He's going to go for the backslide. It is big hit. Top rope. He hits it. It's over. From the top, Ken Jackson. He's calling for the moonsault. He, oh, he missed it. He missed it. Michael Jackson now going after Fletcher Ryan. Here we go. Michael Jackson, a big right hand. For you guys that are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. Oh, Michael Jackson has got taken down by Fletcher Ryan. Now Fletcher Ryan with a big right hand, and Michael Jackson now again is in trouble. Fletcher Ryan called for that V-trigger, and he hits it. That could do it. That cover. One. Two. And, oh, he kicked out. Jackson's still in it. Fletcher Ryan now as Michael Jackson whips him off the ropes. Shot to the gut. Fletcher Ryan setting up Michael Jackson for something. What's he going to do? Oh, and he's wiped him out with a clothesline from l type move. Now he jumps on top, and he's pummeling him some more. Stomps on the chest. Big hit by Fletcher Ryan. Uh, Samuel, if you follow us, I would do it. Are you going to follow us, Samuel Galvin? Here we go. Michael Jackson whips him in. One, two, nope. Okay, good deal. Michael Jackson now working. Michael Jackson goes over to, oh, what a hit on Fletcher Ryan. This could be it. Michael Jackson's got him where he wants him. Puts him in the air. Here we go. Oh, what a driller. He drilled him on the floor. He calls that the thriller. But look at Fletcher Ryan bounces right back up. Michael Jackson didn't. Well, Fletcher got back in the ring before Jackson could do anything. Here we go. Jackson over the top. Oh, Fletcher just got him. He set him up, and there's those shots. A nasty Viking uppercut. You're what, Samuel? What do you mean? You're so what? What are you talking about, Samuel? Okay. Okay, Samuel. Okay, Samuel. You know what, dude? You, you just won a prize. You want a really nice prize, man.
Yeah. You won a prize for being like that, dude. Don't get me, bro. Okay, you're acting like a fool. You won a nice prize for acting like a fool, so. Saying all kinds of stuff like that, dude. There we go, Michael Jackson from the top. Oh, he takes him out. That's it, Michael Jackson. Got it the way it won. Two. Yeah, he had it, but no, he couldn't get it done. Michael Jackson now would have needed a hit. Michael Jackson setting him up. There it is. He drilled him. This could do it. Michael Jackson going to the top. Open the hit this time. Getting now from the top. Here he goes. He's got it. He hits it. He wins. One. You can count the 21, two. And that's it. Three. Michael Jackson gets the win. Michael Jackson with a big win here on Saturday night's main event. Michael Jackson gets his first match in EFW, and it's at W here tonight on Saturday night's main event. Big win. All right, so Michael Jackson's our winner, and, that, you know, that guy was a joker, so no, no match. We'll make our own matches here for that. Coming up next. Still got plenty of guys we haven't seen in action in a long time. So you got this match up here on Saturday night's main event. Big John Studd is in the house. He'll be in action next on Saturday night's main event. So it's a no holds barred match for Big John Studd. He'll go one-on-one -on -one against Jerry Sags on Saturday night's main event. Also coming up, Brutus the Barber Beefcake will be in action. He goes one-on-one -on -one tonight against Georgie Animal Steel. Wait a minute, Bob Clad is coming down. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one against Yokozuna. This will be a battle of the heavyweights. Check that. So no Brutus. It's Bob Clot. He's in action tonight against Yoko Zuna. This will be a hell of a semi match. Let's get to the ring for Stud and Sags, followed by Yoko Zuna against Bob Clot. Here we go. Here comes Stud. The following is a no holds barred match. Making his way to the ring from Pennsylvania, weighing in at 366 pounds, Big John Stud. And his opponent. From Allentown, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 275 pounds. It's a battle of two men that had a rich history in the wrestling world. Jerry Sags, one-on-one -on -one against Big John Studd, the nasty boy. Here we go, going against Studd. Should be a hell of a brawl here between these two men. Studd comes right out and beats up Jerry Sags early in the fight. Stud going off the ropes, going off the elevation, splash, and he hits it. One. That's all he's going to get. So Big John Stud early in the fight underway here on Saturday night's main event. Big John Stud continues to give it all he got. He fires him. Close line by Big John Stud. Now Stud going after Jerry Sags. 
Look at the press slam him in the air. Good night as Gary sags it down. Big John Studd we're taking it out to the floor here. Studd's going to pick him up. Here we go. He's going to launch him near the table, but not through the table. Big John Studd picking him up in the air. Samuel, I'll tell you, dude, you should be ashamed of yourself, dude. You should be ashamed of yourself. I don't even know how you're still in here. Yeah, I don't know how this guy stayed in here, dude. I thought I got rid of him long ago. I don't know. He's, he's some joker that's, you know, he's been saying all kinds of goofy stuff. You didn't see what he said? I thought you seen what he said. Oh, you didn't see it? I, th I came up on my board. I thought you seen it. I don't know. You're always going to get that one troll that's like, you know, got to be like a goofball. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. Still going after Sags. Here we go. Still going to pick him up. Oh, all right, I thought you were able to see it. I wasn't sure. Yeah, well, he's gone now, so don't worry about it. So he says, I'm going to go beat up my sibling. I'm like, really, dude? Like, what is wrong with you, dude? He's going to go beat up his sibling, he said. I, I don't know. He's probably a teenager that's being off his rocker. So. Stud takes down Sags. Here we go. Big John Studd now picking up Sags. He knows it's match is over. Big John Studd is on his way to victory on Saturday night's main event. Big John Studd on Monday Mayhem will go one-on-one -on -one with Stone Cold Steve Austin in our main event on Monday Mayhem. And it's John Studd one-on-one -on -one against Stone Cold Steve Austin this Monday on Monday Mayhem. You'll see that match happening. Big John Studd and Stone Cold Steve Austin collide. Let me know what's wrong with my voice, dude. It's just the way it's coming over, bro. Probably haven't drank enough water today, though. Probably. I'll get some later. Yeah, I'll get some more water later, dude. I'm good. Don't worry about it. I was up late last night, so... Look at Big John still going after Sags. I mean, he's just destroying him in this match. He needs to get him back in the ring and end this thing. Let's see what happens. Finally, he will. No, he throws him into the steps. Stud just beating him up. But Stud will have his hands full with Stone Cold Steve Austin this Monday on Mayhem. We're down to the final minutes of tonight's show here. It's already after 9.30 here on the East Coast. So we're rocking along towards the 10 o'clock hour with you tonight for two hours. And we're going to normally do these Saturday night shows for two hours and then wrap it up after two. So we've had a ton of title changes tonight. The new era has begun here in EFW with a uh, new champion crowned in many different divisions. The new U.S. champion is the major. As Big John Stud continues to punish Sags. Stud going to the top rope. This is going to end it right here. He connects from the top of Sting's history, and he should. And he, oh, he missed. The Sags moved. Sags able to move. Now Sags got some offense. And he unloads with a big right hand on Stud. Then Sags gets Stud down. He slams him down here with an impactful hit. Cover. One. Two. No, he didn't get two fall. Referee says one. Sags now figuring out a game plan here for Big John Stud. He whips him off. No, right into the referee. Now Sags again going after Stud, but. He's not letting Stud get the offense going. Sags is in control. What Sags doing now? He's going for a weapon instead of taking the beat down. To grab a steel chair, bring that in, and hope to slam Stud with it a few times. Here we go, right across the head. He did, and now Stud's in trouble. Sags has turned the tie with this steel chair, beating up Stud. Look at this, he's really beating him up. Could we see an upset win here? Even though Stud is scheduled to fight Stone Cold Steve Austin on Monday Mayhem. Sags at the top rope. This could be a big one, and he drills Stud with the elbow. Hooks the leg. We get one. We get two. 
And a kick out by Stud. He stays in it. Stud now rolling around, trying to get back to his feet here, Stud. Sags now brings up Stud. Here we go. What a takedown by Sags. Why what? I don't know what you mean. Why what, dude? Sags now with a spine buster on Stud. And he drives the leg across his throat. Look at it. Sags. Let's see he's going to win it. Sags going to pick Stud up. Here we go. Sags whipping Stud off the ropes. Here we go. Okay, no. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you, what are you talking about? Here it is. Stud for the win. This is it. One, two. And Stud's going to finally finish this match. He will meet Stone Cold on Monday for Mayhem. I don't know. Big John Stud with the win here tonight. So Stud gets the win, and here we go. Main event time of the night. This will be our final match up here on Saturday night's main event. Bob Aklad versus Yoko Zona. Battle of the Sumos here on Saturday night's main event. So here it is, the big matchup here in our main event, Yokozuna versus Babacut. What was what? What are you talking about? What was what, buddy? What was that? I don't know what you mean, what was what? Was it Otis? No, bro, it wasn't me. It was a friggin' this guy, big goofy guy, Baba Clat. Y'all give him a better name, dude. Every name this guy. <laughs> he's he's your favorite wrestler, dude. Uh Dada Cook. Battle <laughs> sumo match. Dude. The main event is a sumo match, bro. In Groot's fashion. Where's Groot at during this match? Oh, I'm over here in the corner eating some steak. <laughs> here we go. Here he comes. Why are these messages showing up at the top? What messages, bro? What's showing up there? Why are these messages showing at the top? What do you mean? Dude, oh, he almost beat him that quick, dude. This this monster, Baba Clot, is taking the fight to Yokozuna. Look at this. Oh, but Yoko takes him down. This guy's the size of, of Brute's buddies, Sugar Roddy, dude. This guy's almost like Sugar Roddy over here. Oh, that's one mess. That's one message, dude. Who cares? I, I was making sure that was real. I just want to make sure it was who to say the name or no. It doesn't tell you who said it. Oh, Yogozuna cut him off the pass. He's trying to knock him off the apron. Drop kick. Yogozuna's still on his feet. Yogozuna now whips big Baba Clot. Ducks down. And Yoko tries out now. And again, Baba Clot taking him down. Baba Clot going for the big boot around the throat. And he takes down Yokozuna. Now he's going to throw Yogozuna right over the top. And now Yoko's holding on. Now he hits him with the right hand. Now he's going to DDT him around the apron. Now he's going to go with a modified diamond cutter. Over the top rope goes this big man. This man is from parts unknown. And he's taking a fight to Yokozuna on Saturday night's main event. He picks Yokozuna up. And now, wait a minute, there's a big hit. Yoko's going for the ride. The same fools count anywhere. He's got to get him back in the ring to finish the fight. 
Here we go. Throws him in. And now he's got Yokozuna. Look at this move. He's going to take him and bulldog him to the floor. Once again, he can't pin him. Referee is counting. He's at six. This man doesn't care. As the referee moving the count to six. Let's see. Is he going to put him back in the ring and let the referee continue to count? Oh, no. He threw him into steel steps. But he's going to get in the ring. Seven. Yokozuna should answer ten. Let's see. Referee is at eight. He's heading for nine. This could do it. Referee telling him, get in here. Yoko to the down, but oh, Bob Clot decides to go to the top rope. Here's nine. Now, let's see. Is it over? Referee needs a quick count of ten, but no. Bob Clot goes and takes him off. Hurricane Rana on the floor from the top rope. I don't care about the Lakers game, bro. I mean, I hope they win, but I don't care. Honestly, it's like whatever, bro. Yeah, I'm in the baseball. Mets beat the Dodgers, so that's already happened. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not betting Lakers, bro. It's the last thing I bet right now. Lakers are an old team, bro. They're has been kind of deal. Bob Clatt now going after Yokozuna. Look at this. He's going to try to finish the match right here. DDT from the top, and it's good to it for Yokozuna. One. Two. Oh, and a kick out by Yokozuna. Look at Bob Clatt just showing off right now as Yokozuna's met his match and this ginormous man. From parts unknown. And now he's got Yoko Zuna whipping him hard over the top rope, but Yoko holds on, and this time he's going to hit him with an elbow. And again, he's got DDT him. No, he's going to do that diamond cutter again, sending Yoko Zuna back to the floor. He leaps over the top and elbow right on the Yoko Zuna. Good God, he just came all down with all 600 pounds on Yoko Zuna. Now he's going to grab Yoko Zuna and punch him in the face several times. Now what's he doing? He's bringing him up, and Yokozuna swiped his leg out, though. Here we go. Yokozuna trying to fight back, get some offense in this fight here on Saturday night's main event. Baba Klatt back on his feet, though. Baba Klatt throws Yokozuna down. Referee is counting, but there's no way Yokozuna won't answer the count. He's going to have five. He's going to get the six. He might get the seven, but Yokozuna eventually. Baba Klatt just goes to the top rope, and here it is. Ref telling Yokozuna to get back in. Here's seven. And now over the top. Oh, and he takes out Yokozuna. Just thrilled him. Out of plot now, setting up at Yokozuna where he wants him. And again, DDT. No, Yokozuna throws him through the air. Look at that. He's fighting back. And a good fight here between these two on Saturday night's main event. Throws him back into the ring. Here we go. Yokozuna now trying to get some momentum. Oh, Bob Clot just came over the top rope and knocked Yokozuna right down to the floor again. And this time, I don't know. Bob Clot puts up Yokozuna. Going to throw him back in the ring. Probably try to finish this fight. They're about to declare a winner here on Saturday night's main event. Drop kick to the head. Are we looking at the next challenger for Jackie Skeleton's EFW World Championship? Is it Bob Clot coming for the title? No, he missed that time. Yokozuna now trying to make some momentum. Here it is, Yokozuna. With a boot to the back. Yokozuna off the ropes. Here it comes. Oh, and he hits a splash on him. Is it enough to beat him? Yokozuna now. Oh, he's going to sit down on him. Here we go. The big bunch I sit is enough. One, two. We get no a kick out by Baba Clot. Baba Clot kicks out at two. Yokozuna now going after him, raking the eyes of Baba Clot. What a comeback for Yokozuna in this fight. He takes him to the corner now and hit first goes Big Baba Clot. Yoko now has got the momentum with a butt buster in the corner. Let's see what he finishes it up with. A big hip toss taking a monster of a man throwing him down. Yokozuna has made this interesting. He bows at him. Let's see what Yokozuna is going to do here. Brings him up and he's raking his eyes again. Oh, Baba Clot's got a shot though. And then Yokozuna's in trouble now. Bob Clot off the ropes. Here we go. And he takes him out with devastation. That could do it. He's going to hook the leg, and he might be coming for Jack Skeleton in the EFW World Championship with a kick out. He kicked out. A Bob Clot going after Yokozuna some more, but Yokozuna reversed it. Uh oh, Bob Clot. Look at that. Taking his legs and rips Yokozuna down. Bob Clot setting up. <laughs> 
Oh, Bob Clot signaling this could be a free Yokozuna. It is. He hits it. There it is. The devastating. He's going to cover him and beat Yokozuna. Here's one. Here is two. And we have a challenger for Jack Skeleton next Saturday night on Saturday night's main event. Two big matches. The monkey Ron Jones defends against Abyss. And Jack Skeleton defends against Baba Clot next Saturday night on Saturday night's main event. This monster is coming for the EFW champion, Jack Skeleton. Business is picking up here in EFW. It has truly picked up here tonight on Saturday night's main event. We are not done just yet. Yes, thank you. We are staying with you live here on Saturday night's main event. Still have some more broadcast time available to us, so don't go anywhere. We're going to do something different here. We're going to announce the release of a couple bums from the roster. Fletcher Ryan's days are numbered in EFW. Fletcher Ryan gets his walk-in papers here tonight. Who's coming to EFW? Let's find out right now as we go to the roster. Yes, indeedy. Fletcher Ryan. Fletcher Ryan is indeed done with EFW. His contract has been terminated effective immediately. Fletcher Ryan, you're fired. So Fletcher Ryan is fired. Al Bundy has officially joined the roster again. There he is, the new Al Bundy. The new Al Bundy is here in EFW. He just didn't appear tonight on the card. I don't know, bro. Right now we're not going to tell you who got fired here. So let's tell you, Fletcher Ryan is fired. His contract has been terminated with EFW as of tonight. After his matchup with Michael Jackson, he's gone. Fletcher Ryan is out of EFW. So there's your guy, Fletcher Ryan, saying his goodbyes in a locker room. He has been terminated. His contract with EFW is no longer. We're opening up for newcomers. Who's coming in? As Fletcher Ryan will leave. The Giant Gonzalez, his time here in EFW has come to an end. Giant Gonzalez will be released from his contract. So we got cuts going on here to bring in new talent. Giant Gonzalez, out of here. So Fletcher Ryan and Giant Gonzalez, bit of do. Goofy will stay. Gordon Dooley will stay for now. So will Gordon Ramsay and Gray Colley and Grim Reaper. And those guys didn't appear tonight, but they'll be on shows in the future. Humbery, the monkey guy, he's out of here. His contract has been terminated. Humberese. We have three terminations to announce here tonight from the EFW roster. Yep, three terminations. Humbery, Fletcher Ryan. So three men have been sent to pack. Stop it, Lemony. Stop it, dude. Seriously. So who's coming in? The question is, who's coming in to EFW? Well, you can see some of the guys you haven't seen tonight on the action. Big Juice is here. It's your favorite guy, dude. He wasn't in action. Hey, this thing at the wrestle tonight. So anyway, here we go. We've had three termination of contracts. I mean, three free agents are coming in. Who is it? Could it be the return of a fan favor? Could it be a surprise pickup here for the company? Let's go to the big board and find out first here if we can let their contracts officially be terminated. Let's find out. So we said Fletcher Ryan and Giant Gonzalez are gone. We'll start with the Giant Gonzalez here. Well, actually, Fletcher Ryan, is he gone? Nope, not yet. So we have to wait the period here before we can release them from their contracts. Yeah, these guys cannot be released effective immediately. They will be activated soon. And the third and final release was... Uh, who do we release here? I don't remember. Pig guy. I don't know what pig guy is still doing here. Ron Jones is still on the roster, but he didn't come out. Ryback, of course, is here. We've seen Ron Jeremy. We haven't seen Madison wrestle in a while. We're going to get him a match. He needs a match. Superman. Of course, the major. Tommy Dreamer wasn't here tonight. Warlow did not appear tonight. Vampiro didn't appear. This guy here needs to get terminated, too. He's out of here. We got an open spot. Who's coming in? Who do you want to see come back from the old days? Just fired that bum. We fired a bum. Who do you want to see come in? We got an open spot right now. Who do you want to see? Who do you want to see be hired? We got one spot. How about this guy? None of these guys here. These are all a bunch of jokers. Yeah, we don't want these guys. 
We're not bringing in this guy, whoever the hell he is. So, who are we bringing in? That's the question. Yeah, we got one open roster spot here. The answer is this, man. You ready? The return of a fan favorite. Do you want to see the return of this man? Hey, hey, hey! Is Fat Albert on his way back to EFW? Is Fat Albert on his way? Let's find out right now. Is Fat Albert returning here tonight? Is it time for Fat Albert to return to EFW? Let's find out together. Is it official? Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Is this guy coming in? Or could it be this guy, Rudy? Or could it be another Bill? No, it's him. Hey, hey, hey. He's back in EFW. Fat Albert returns to EFW. Fat Albert is returning to EFW. His contract is signed. Fat Albert has been signed to return. And his first match back will be against Tony D'Angelo for the TV title. And that match will happen real soon. Oh, it's Monday Mayhem. Put it in the books, right? Put it on the card for Monday Mayhem. You got Stud versus Stone Cold. And you're going to have Fat Albert on Monday Mayhem. He will go one-on-one. -on -one. Against Tony D. So we're adding these matches as we speak here. Give me a second here to put them in the book. We're going to put them in the book here for the script. Fat Albert goes one-on-one -on -one against Tony D for the TV title. So Tony D just got bad news for the EFW TV title. It is happening on Monday Mayhem. And also will be Big John Stud versus Stone Cold Steve Austin in a non-title match. So there's your Monday Mayhem. Two big main events on Monday Mayhem. The rest of the show, you have to turn it on. You'll find out who else is coming. AFW. So there you go. Two matches official on the card for Monday Mayhem. It's on the card. So we'll see you back here Monday afternoon and watch those matches between Fat Albert as he's returned here tonight in his shocker. Fat Albert has been re-signed to EFW on this Saturday night's main event. Maybe we can get another guy fired out of here and bring him bring somebody else in here. But Fat Albert joins a roster here after we got rid of that job or Tyrone. So Fat Albert gets to return here tonight. Yes, he does. So there you'll see him, Big Fat Albert here. He'll be known as Fat Albert. When the ring announcer calls his name, what will he call him? Let's find out what his ring name will be here. We're going to go there to see what the name will be for his personal information. He will be called his uh, name here. Here it is. His name, his entrance presentation name. He'll just be called strictly Albert. Albert, that's it. So Albert. Albert will be his presentation name, but you all know him as Fat Albert. He's back in EFW on Saturday night's main event. There you go. So you guys are happy about that, I'm sure. You get a fan favorite returning, and Fat Albert, he's back in action, and a jobber has been sent packing here tonight. So there you go. So you get fresh matchups as Fat Albert's here. The question is, who fills those other three spots? Will we see more fan favorites return? That's the question. Could we see debuts of new guys? You know, Homer Simpson's looking for an opponent. Who will he get to face? He'll face a newcomer next Saturday night on Saturday night's main event. Homer Simpson will face a newcomer. Who will that be? Well, you'll have to tune in to find out. Because we're about out of TV time now. We're coming to the end of the night. But uh, let's see if we're going to be able to officially fire uh, Fletcher Ryan here tonight. Is it going to let me do it? Nope, it won't let me do it. Nah, Wolf Blitzer's not coming to EFW, bro. He's too old. They won't let me bring Wolf Blitzer in here, bro. You got you to be dreaming, bro. You think Wolf Blitzer's coming here, bro. Wolf Blitzer ain't coming here, bro. You're, you're on Dream Street if you think Wolf Blitzer's coming to EFW, bro. That's not happening. Wolf Blitzer is not coming to EFW. I'm sorry to break your heart, dude. You will not get Wolf Blitzer. 
Nah, not Al Roker either, dude. Those guys don't come on a wrestling game. Come on, man. What, are you kidding me? What do you think this is? Do you think this is NBC? Do, do, do. This is Al Roker. He used to weigh 475 pounds. Now he weighs, uh, whatever the hell he weighs, bro. The guy, the guy lost a lot of weight. Big Cass is signed out. He's back in EFW. You'll see him in the ring soon. Big Cass is back. And Big Ben the Butler somehow survived the cuts. Well, guess what? He's new as fiery. <laughs> we just fired Big Ben the Butler live on the air. Uh, we'll see if we can find him, dude. Let's see if we can find him, dude. Stand by. Oops, stand by. We got to see if we can find him here. Uh, I don't think we're going to find him, but you never know, dude. You never know. All right, so let's see. We're going to get rid of Big Ben the butler, though. His contract has been terminated here as of now. We're going to add another guy here live on the air before we leave. Who is coming to EFW? Big Ben the butler, who is a jobber, is out of here. So say goodbye to Big Ben the butler. His days are numbered in EFW. He's officially out of here. Big Ben the Butler has been terminated, so that means we got another spot. Who is it coming to EFW to join the ranks of all these nut jobs? Who could it be? We got one spot. This is it. The final, the final new face in the company you're gonna see tonight. You got to tune back in Monday to find out who else is coming. Here it is. We go in. You asked for Harad, though. Let's see what comes up, dude. Let's see if we get him. If we get him, you got him. If we don't, then you're out of luck. Survey says, show me Harado. Let's see what happens. Harado. All right, for all the chi in China, here comes Harado. Is he there? You wanted them Diet Coke? Let's see if he's here. Let's see. It's a whammy. It is a total 100% whammy. No Harado, dude. He's not there. So let's try somebody else. Uh, we don't want jobbers. We want a guy who can make an impact here in this company. Who could it be? Uh, well, CM Punk don't come for another couple weeks. Nope, nobody made him, bro. No Harad, though, dude. Sorry, your, uh, your dream of Harad, though, has been failed, bro. It's a new day, as the man says. It's a new day. It's a new day, bro. So you're going to have to tune in Monday to find out who the new guy is then. Yeah, because uh, the Joker could be coming back. Who could it be? That's the question. Who's coming, dude? There's a million one canes out there in this guy. Well, we already got this guy. Kerry Von Eric, no thanks. We're running out of TV time now. I'm getting told by the truck. We got two minutes left, so we got to get him in. Who is it? Who's coming? Who's coming? Who is it? Da -da 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 -da. You'll have to find out on Monday, guys. We're out of TV time. We've got like about a minute and a half left on the clock here on this show. So we said two hours tonight straight up, so we got a minute and a half on the clock. We can run over to 1001, they just told me, though. So guess what? We're going to bring somebody. Who are we bringing? Everybody's been asking for this guy. Somebody's asked me recently if they want to bring this guy. Are you ready? Return of a fan favor. Here we go. Uh, is it me? I coming? Uh, Diet Coke? Uh. Who's coming? Let's see. Let's see who signed it with the EFW here in the open spot to replace Big Ben the butler. They already had to return a Fat Albert, so let's see who's next. And... Looks like nobody's coming tonight. We're out of TV time, I'm being told. We got one minute, and if this thing don't kick in, we're done. Come on, man. Why is this thing kicking in? Hold on, we'll try to reboot it one more time. We'll give it we're gonna give it five more minutes of TV time to do this. Everybody's leaving anyway, man. Nobody's gonna see it. Hey right, Coke, you still there or did you leave? Uh, I left. Uh, okay, you're still here. You know, then we're gonna see it though, bro. It's gonna be a big surprise, and nobody's gonna get to see it. Ah, oh, Jesus, dude. Come on. Ah, oh, this thing got jammed, bro. It's not going to happen, dude. Yeah, it looks like it's not, uh, I'll try to reboot the whole thing. Hold on. 
Don't go anywhere. We're trying to reboot the whole thing to get this guy to bring him in. Here we go. We're trying to reboot it. Who? Uh-oh. Is he coming? I think Groot just hit it on it. I think Groot just hit it on it. I think he's coming, dude. The limo pulled up there telling me in my ear. Is he here? Is he back in EFW? Is he here? Is it him? Let's see. We're going to go off the air with this guy returning. Is he going to return to EFW? The question is, is it Howard Stern for all the Chi in China? Is Howard Stern coming back to EFW? Let's see. Is it Stern time? Let's go. Oh, my God. It's Beetlejuice! It's Beetlejuice! Beetlejuice is back in AFW! Beetlejuice, my God! It's Beetlejuice! He's back in AFW! Business is picked up! We'll see you Monday Mayhem! Have a good night, everybody! Thanks for joining me! Beetlejuice is back in AFW!